Dongfeng 51, A New Era in Global Military Strategy The international military community has been abuzz with a momentous announcement, the successful test launch of China's strategic missile, the Dongfeng 51, DF-51. This news has sent shockwaves through the world, sparking widespread discussion and speculation among military enthusiasts about the future of warfare. In an age of rapid technological advancement and escalating military competition, the emergence of a new strategic missile raises a critical question, what does it signify, and how will it reshape the global military landscape? To answer this, let's take a closer look at the secrets behind the DF-51. How powerful is the Dongfeng-51? First, let's examine some striking data. The DF-51 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, ICBM, is a prime example of a great power's technological prowess. Its body is approximately 20 meters long, the height of a six-story building, with a diameter of 2.25 meters. Its sheer size suggests a contained power capable of shaking the heavens. With a launch weight of over 60 tons, equivalent to a fully armed heavy tank, it requires specialized, extra-large silos and dedicated transport erector vehicles. In terms of strategic deterrence, the DF-51 boasts unparalleled performance. Its range is an astonishing 17,000 kilometers, a new record for ICBMs. This means it can strike any location on Earth from mainland China. Its blistering flight speed of Mach 30 leaves enemy missile defense systems in the dust. At this speed, the time from launch to target is a mere 20 minutes, providing virtually no time for an opponent to issue a warning or attempt an interception. As a doomsday weapon, the DF-51's multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV, system is particularly devastating. It can carry up to 30 nuclear warheads, each with an estimated yield of 40 megatons, thousands of times more powerful than the atomic bomb used on Hiroshima in World War II. These warheads are equipped with advanced smart radar systems that can autonomously identify and evade enemy interception signals. During their terminal phase, they can dynamically adjust their flight paths based on real-time battlefield conditions, ensuring pinpoint accuracy and rendering enemy air and missile defense systems useless. In comparison, the U.S. Minuteman III ICBM, the backbone of its nuclear arsenal, has a range of approximately 13,000 kilometers and a speed of around Mach 20, despite numerous upgrades since its 1970 deployment. Restricted by the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty and subsequent arms control agreements, it can only carry three W-78 warheads, each with a yield of approximately 300 kilotons. Its multi-target strike capability is limited and less effective against modern anti-missile systems. Meanwhile, the Russian Yars ICBM, a significant upgrade from the Topol-M, has a range of 12,000 kilometers and a terminal speed of Mach 20. It can carry four to six U-74 warheads, each with a yield of 150 kilotons, achieving high precision through its GLONASS satellite navigation system. The missile's combination of road mobile and silo-based launch modes enhances its survivability, but it still has limitations in payload size and strike power. In contrast, the DF-51's extreme range of over 15,000 kilometers combined with its Mach 30 Plus hypersonic glide vehicle provides no-fail coverage for any global target. This missile can carry more than 10 MIRV warheads, each with a yield exceeding 500 kilotons. Utilizing Chan Shuisen ballistics and terminal maneuvering technology, it achieves a dual breakthrough in both strike precision and penetration efficiency. This means the DF-51 can reach the North American continent in as little as 15 minutes. More importantly, its saturation strike capability can simultaneously destroy multiple strategic nodes, reducing the effectiveness of existing missile defense systems to near zero. The DF-51's entry into service completely rewrites the traditional nuclear deterrence logic of detection means destruction, elevating China's strategic nuclear counter-strike capability to a new tri-dimensional level, serving as a pillar of national security. The Impact of DF-51 on Global Strategic Balance The successful test of the DF-51 has a profound impact on the global strategic balance. Strategic nuclear power is the cornerstone of national security and global stability. The DF-51's formidable capabilities give China a more significant position in the global strategic nuclear power comparison. 
Its emergence shatters the existing balance, forcing nations that seek to militarily deter China to reevaluate their strategic decisions. From an international perspective, some Western countries have long relied on military superiority to promote hegemony and power politics. The birth of the DF-51 is a powerful response to these hegemonic actions. It signals to the world that China has the ability to defend its sovereignty and security, and any attempt to infringe on China's interests will come at a heavy cost. At the same time, the DF-51 also plays a vital role in maintaining regional peace and stability. In the Asia-Pacific region, some countries, incited by external forces, frequently create tensions. The DF-51's existence provides a powerful deterrent to these nations, effectively curbing the outbreak of regional conflicts. In the global strategic competition, all countries are striving to achieve a strategic balance. The DF-51's appearance will prompt other nations to reassess their own strategic nuclear forces and increase their research and development investments in related fields. This will drive a new round of adjustments and developments in global strategic nuclear forces. While this adjustment may lead to a period of tension, in the long run, it will contribute to establishing a new, more equitable, and rational global strategic balance, the reflection on technological development and peaceful use. Advanced strategic missiles like the DF-51 are a testament to human technological progress, representing China's highest level of missile technology and its powerful industrial and technological innovation capabilities. However, we must be soberly aware that technological development is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can drive the progress and development of human society. On the other hand, if used for improper purposes, it can bring devastating disasters to humanity. In the military field, the development and use of advanced weapons must have the maintenance of peace as its starting and ending point. We are developing the DF-51 not to provoke war but to defend peace. As China has consistently adhered to a defensive national defense policy, our military power is for self-defense and to safeguard our sovereignty, security, and development interests. By demonstrating strong military power, we hope to deter nations that attempt to start wars, thereby achieving the goal of maintaining peace. Globally, all countries should work together to strengthen cooperation and communication in the field of science and technology and promote its peaceful use. Particularly in military technology, mutual trust mechanisms and strengthened arms control negotiations should be established to prevent an out-of-control arms race. Only in this way can we fully leverage the positive role of technology and ensure its benefits for all humanity, rather than letting it become a hidden danger that threatens human survival and development. The successful test of the DF-51 is a significant milestone in China's military technological development. It demonstrates China's strength, enhances its international standing, and makes an important contribution to safeguarding national security and global strategic stability. But we must not become complacent. In the future, we will continue to increase our investment in technological R&D and improve our military technology. At the same time, we will always remember our mission of peace, ensuring that our advanced weapons serve as a powerful shield for its defense. What are your thoughts on the successful test of the DF-51? Feel free to leave a comment in the section below.